Okay, Mass Planner fam. Um, <clears throat> let me go ahead and show you really quickly. Um, hey, this is exclusive. Okay, this is how I how I give it to you guys. But Mass Planner recently enter or added the feature of Instagram auto posting or not auto posting. Oh, sorry about that. Very exclusive, guys. I'm sitting here eating a bowl of cereal <laughs> just to let you know how exclusive this is, and I have food in my mouth. Sorry about that. But Mass Planner has just recently offered, okay, or added to the program, Instagram auto follow by geographic location, okay? So basically what that means, all right, is that you can enter a zip code, a city, a country, a state, or what have you, when you're following people on Instagram. And let me go ahead and I'll show you under tools. Um, I'll pick one of my accounts. Mm -mm -mm. So I'll pick my George Price account. Okay, it's actually it's actually not running this feature right now. So I'm going to show you guys how it works. So let me open up the account. This is my Instagram account. <clears throat> All right, guys, this is like I said, this is exclusive. Okay, I'm I'm showing you this, and this just it's 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 so exclusive that it was released yesterday on the 25th, and um, I'm not going to say it's buggy, but it's not complete. Okay, and what I mean by that is that um. You have the ability of following by geographic location, but with my um, version, okay, I'm using, I've had my account set up for a while. Let me go ahead and log into my Instagram account here. Hold on one second. Okay, but let me just see how many people I'm following before I start this. All right, so I'm cool. All right. So let's go back, close that. Okay, but what I was gonna say was, okay, when I had to, when I enabled this feature at first, okay, and you're seeing everything that I'm doing here. So if you're using the Instagram follow, okay, tool, and you have an account that's a bit older, like say for instance, it's six months or so, okay, and this is showing you a strategy for following as well, okay, timings and everything. You see all of my settings, okay? I'm not gonna go through all of my settings, just look at my screen, Pause the video, copy the settings if you have an older account, and this will work for you, okay? I'm using these settings, and it's generating, like, I mean, I tell you guys all the time, 1,000 in a week is not a problem. 1,000 followers following me, follow me back using my methods, all right? So, um, here are my settings. As I said, you see it stopped. I haven't done it for a bit, but I'm going to go here to, as a matter of fact, I'll show, show you results. The last time was September 1st, okay? So, it's October, so it's been that long since I've actually followed with this account. All right, so I'm going to go to follow sources now. Okay, and as I said, you see everything here, okay? The one problem that I did have when I first started this was um, for some reason, you're supposed to just uh, type in, like say for instance, a city, okay? So I'll type in N, because I'm going to type in New York, so N-E-W, okay? And it seems like it's doing it with this one. Okay, but actually there it goes. Okay, initially... The problem that I had was it would not um, display anything. Like, you see it shows the cities and such. And I know you're probably like, wow, this is amazing, right? <laughs> I was amazed by it too. But <clears throat> as you're typing in the information, it just wouldn't, like, show. And it just would, like, stay there, like, blink. So what I ended up doing was, and this is just in case you have this issue, okay? If you have had Mass Planner for a while um, or if you have lots of files or something, for whatever reason, it doesn't display properly. You want to make sure that you just let it sit for a while. Okay, I let mine sit, I don't know how many minutes or what have you. It may have been up to an hour. I don't even know. I'll be honest with you. But I just let it sit, and eventually um, I came back and I went to delete or something like that, and boom, it displayed. And it's been working ever since. But if you saw it took a little bit on this one, this account also to display. So just in case, um, if you have multiple Instagram accounts, it may take a second to um, actually display the information. All right? So... What I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how I, I will set this up. Okay, so I'm searching for, um, let me click out of that space. And you see now that it's kind of activated. If I take my uh, mouse in there, or if I just enter anything, like I'll enter an M, automatically it's going to come up with something. Okay, so I'm not sure why that comes up as Mass Planner or whatever domain. Okay, so you see like that, right? Maybe that's a file that they're using or something. I'm not sure, guys. But that's how it works. Okay, so um, 
what I'm doing basically is for my account, I'm following, I don't follow by keywords. I follow other, um, the follower, I follow the followers of other Instagram accounts that are similar to mine or that are in the same market as mine. Okay. And this is what I advise you to do if you're using Instagram. Okay. To build your following. If you're providing content, that's the same as those that are following others that are similar to you. So if you're, I go back to the McDonald's scenario, if you're selling hamburgers, okay, and you're McDonald's, if you follow the followers of Burger King, Wendy's, or other burger places, and you display hamburgers, then you'll most likely get other people to follow you because you're displaying hamburgers, okay? So that's what I'm doing with my following, and that's the reason why I'm following the followers of those followers, okay? Just to make you understand that. As far as geolocation, um, I want my followers to be within an audience that I can use. So since most of my products I know are going to be sold through PayPal or such like that to get income to me, what I would do and I'm, okay, is I make sure that I enter countries that would accept PayPal for one. Okay, so I'm going to enter um, United States. And I'll wait for it to come up. Okay, so you see here how it has United States, United Kingdom, United States. They have all different ways, okay? So you can put zip codes and all that stuff in there, guys. I mean, you can do lots. Once you tick it or once I ticked it, you saw how it displays down there. Now I'm going to do something else I haven't tried before. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tick another one. I'm going to tick uh, United Kingdom. Okay, and that displays as well down there. So I'm going to untick it, and you see it goes away. So if you tick it while everything is highlighted and you still have these in a the box, it'll highlight those, okay? So that's a way of mul multiple selecting um, uh, countries or uh, locations at once. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to go back and you see also you can get very specific. So if I wanted to do like New York, New York, I could do New York, New York, New York City. Okay, so and you can do street addresses, all of that stuff, guys. So you can get very, very specific. All right. So I want you to understand how this works. It's very powerful. All right. So I'll go ahead and I'll delete that one. So that's United States, United Kingdom. Um, I'm going to do also Canada. Okay, and automatically, if I can spell correctly, Canada should come up. Okay, I'll also do New Zealand. Okay, and I'm giving a secret away to you guys. If you're searching for English-speaking countries, um, the main ones, I'm giving you the top five. So if you're going to search um, for people in your niche, in your market, this is the one where you can do it. Okay, so uh, that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and the last one I'm going to do is Australia. Okay, and that should come up. Where are you? There you go. Boom. All right, and next thing I'll do, guys, is just delete that portion, and I'll just move my click away from that screen. It goes blank. Okay, so now you see I have two things um, set up here to uh, search for, and I'll go back to my settings. I have my settings all set. Once again, if you guys see my screen here, you can see what my settings are, okay? Um, I'm not gonna go over these. Just you can look at previous videos that I've done and you'll you can see my settings. OK, so this is for an aged account, Instagram account, which I have photos and such like that. Age meaning this account is over a year old. OK, it has photos and all those good things. So we're good. All right. So I'll go ahead and click here where it says start auto follow. OK, and you see the next time. Well, it was just 216. It started following the next time is 241. And you see up here, it's going to show you that it's following followers based on. OK, the great guy. Justin Beasley. Okay, and um, let me show you here. Go to follow sources. Um, he's in the list here somewhere. There he goes right there. And it's just, what it's going to do is randomly, okay, um, this is not updated yet. It's going to randomly go between, um, sorry, the follow sources that you have here. So at one point, it'll follow people. If I had keyword search or what have you, it's going to follow people from there. But since I have follow the friends of followers or friends of certain accounts, Okay, it's going to follow them based on um, these. So it'll go down this row here, this one check one at one point. Okay, doing one follow session. Then it'll do the geolocation in the one follow section. At the moment, okay, and I told you guys that um, it's, it's, it's new. It's brand new, okay? At the moment, what will happen is um, I'll show you in the results section. You see it'll show you. It says followed um, account by follower, okay, and basically tell you who the target was. Target was, sorry. So this is, all right. The keyword so right now the keyword that's set when you do geographic location is going to be keyword it's not going to say no i'm sorry it's going to say geographic location 
but here it's going to not say anything. So if I follow by geographical location, I want to be able to know what state, country, or what have you address that it followed that person through, if you understand what I'm saying. So that's one little thing that they're going to fix. Um, I spoke to the guys. They're going to resolve it. That'll be sorted soon. So you guys will have that. And if you see here, boom, right away, it spit out, wow, <laughs> 20 um, or 21 searches that it just did by following um, Justin's people. And what it'll do is they'll look at my information that I have on my Instagram account. Okay. And if they like it, they'll like it. Um, and I'll open my Instagram account up again just to show you guys. Okay. And based on my settings, basically every 21, let's go here. <clears throat> guys, and this is just a quick video. Um, um, I, I promised you guys that I would, I would shoot a video on this because I think the feature is awesome. This new um, geolocation uh, feature. Okay, and like I said, you can be creative. I just showed you quickly what I'm doing, all right, because I want my followers to be in those locations, all right. Um, how did I get Austin, Texas? In there? Let me change that right quick. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, how did I put Austin, Texas? Wow. Okay, click that one. All right, and then I'll delete Austin, Texas. Delete. All right, so I have them. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. All right, um... But yeah, as I told you, with my settings, guys, here they are. Um, pause this video right quick. So basically, I'm going to go through this really fast, okay? What's going to happen is every 21 to 30, between 21 and 31 minutes, okay, Mass Planner is going to follow between 16 and 23 people, okay, for a maximum of 500 people per day on my Instagram account, okay? After it follows, okay, it's going to stop the tool for 21 minutes after it follows 47 people, okay? So it's going to do 500 total for the day, okay, For because I have my mass planner set to follow um, based on an eight-hour intervals, okay, or eight-hour day, all right? So it's going to follow a maximum of 500 people in that eight-hour day, um, and it's going to stop the tool, like I said, for 21 minutes after 47 follows. Um, I'm following people that have, and this is going to do it between the hours of 12 a.m., and 11 to so basically a 24 hour period all right following users that have profile image um i'm not following private users i'm liking the latest posts after i follow okay i'm liking between one and two posts um, i'm not doing any comments yet because i think commenting can be spammy um if you're not doing it properly and if you're not doing a lot of spin syntax okay so follow sources following friends of targeted accounts okay which is basically following the followers of massive accounts as i showed you guys before okay and also following them by geolocation okay i'm doing this because i want to have people that i can communicate with that can see my content and that can communicate back with me so later when i decide to monetize it you know it's easier to monetize because those that audience has the resources that i need or the same you know um banking and financing methods that i have okay so that's basically what i'm doing um yeah and that's it guys so that was just a quick um video for you guys on the new geotargeting uh, tool that was added to Instagram, the Instagram module of Mass Planner. Okay, as I said, you may um, have an issue at first where if you type something in here um, and you see right now, I just put the mouse and it just started typing or highlighted everything or hit space, sorry. But anyway, if you um, have issues with it not loading, wait, okay, just type a letter in there, or type some information in there and just wait and let it see if it I don't know what happens if it does like a resyncing or whatever. I told the guys, so they're going to look at it and hopefully they'll get it resolved um, in an update soon. And that's it. All right. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day and bye-bye.